What's up, y'all? It's your man Mel Taylor Jr. back with another reaction video, and this one is for Avengers Infinity War trailer LeBron James parody. Now, uh, of course, everybody's seen Infinity War at this point in time. All y'all know that your boy cried during the movie, but um, one thing that you guys don't know is that I completely just lost my point. I'm so sorry. Oh my God, what was I about to say? Don't you hate when it happens when he's about to say something and then you just like completely forget what was you gonna say? Anyway, um, one thing that I do have for y'all is at some point in time, I have to tell y'all the story about how me and LeBron James met and how LeBron is like, gotta be one of the, the, the best people in the world, bro. Like, I kid you not, LeBron is like so damn cool when you meet him in person. One of these days, I'm gonna tell y'all that story, man. If y'all would like for me to just start telling stories about some celebrities that I've met, because I've met a handful of celebrities, um, just definitely let me know. I'm gonna start, I might start rolling out like a story time with Mel type of thing, you know? But um, right now, Avengers Infinity War trailer, LeBron James parody, the Cavs just got bopped by the Celtics right now. So, I know um, a lot of people are like, yeah, Paul Pierce is right. Yeah, Celtics is gonna take it all the way. I'm not the biggest Cavs fan per se. I'm more of a LeBron fan than I am a Cavs fan. However, I will say, LeBron, one of the greats of all time, bro. He gonna figure this out just like he figured out everything else. But enough of that. We gotta get into this Avengers Infinity War LeBron James parody trailer. So that's what we about to do, y'all. All right, let's get ready, get set, have some fun with your boy. Let's go. Third straight year that the Raptors and Cavs meet in the postseason. It feels like Toronto is, is the best matchup for them in the second round. Toronto, they are the better team on paper. Yeah, you gotta be like that. This is the year that Toronto breaks through. This is a different Raptors team. They're going to win the series. <laughs> Wait, I believe they will win the series. He comes into this series and kind of need a miracle to beat the Raptors. No home court advantage for Cleveland this round. Toronto is the number one seed. Even with his greatness, he will not be able to drag this team past the Raptors. In time, you will know what it's like to lose. To feel so desperate <laughs> to right. Let it fail all the same. Fade by! He gutted the Raptors here tonight. Dragons. Just because, oh man, have a LeBron be like the big bad Thanos come through and whatnot. Yo, why they show Drake face like that? That was, that was funny as hell, man. That was funny as hell. Um, oh damn. Uh, you know, it just got to a point in this series. I don't know how many of y'all are like real sports heads, but um, I played college basketball and I ran track in college, so I'm like super into sports. For a lot of y'all that don't know, and. It's funny how every time we like doubt this man and think that he can't do it, he just comes through and does something crazy. Like that entire series, like the Raptors were the number one seed. They coach Dwayne Casey supposed to win coach of the year, even though he just got fired because they lost this series. The two all-stars, Kyle Lowry and DeMar DeRozan. I mean, if we're going to be honest, like I mess with Kyle Lowry, I mess with DeMar DeRozan, but DeMar should be like better than what he is. And Kyle Lowry, 
I equate him to Kevin Love at this point, bro. There's sometimes where I just cannot depend on you. And the rest of the Raptor squad, okay, whatever it is, what it is. But LeBron just got into this headspace where he was like, I'm literally going to drag my team and carry them on my back. And and uh and and we're gonna and we're gonna beat the hell out of the Raptors. It, it and LeBron's cast is like I'm a Lakers fan, first and foremost, Lakers. Warriors, not because of everything going on with Steph Curry, even though I've been a Steph Curry fan since he was in high school, but more so I became a Warriors fan when Don Nelson was coached and Baron Davis was with them and they was whipping the Mavericks back in the day and then the Bulls because I'm from Chicago uh, originally. But, um, damn, I just lost my point one more time that I was about to make. Uh, okay, no, that wasn't what I was about to say. Uh, da, 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 damn it. Damn it. Oh, okay, LeBron's cast. Um, his cast, like, a lot of the players are good. However, it's too many of them that, like, if certain things don't go their way, then they're not going to be able to play their full game. Rodney Hood, Jeff Green. I mess with Jordan Clarkson and Larry Nance heavy because I used to I watch all the Laker games. Like, it's my it's a dream of mine to have floor seat Lakers tickets. What up, Jack Nicholson? I need those when you're done. Um, and as much as JC and Larry Nance can do, this is an opportunity for them to say, okay, I know where I'm at right now, but I can go further by working harder because they haven't had to do anything of this nature before. They haven't had to experience so they can get better. But it's just a bunch of other guys like Kyle Korver. I know we're going to get out of you in, some, in most cases, but often I, I know we're not going to get. And Kevin Love. I still subscribe to the notion, like, you can ask all my homies and anybody that know me. When LeBron first came to the Cavs, I told everybody, keep Ky Kyrie Irving, keep Andrew Wiggins, keep everybody you have, do not trade for Kevin Love, not because Kevin Love is not good, but because he's putting up good stats on a piss poor team. Keep, the, keep those guys, because now, LeBron, you can be the great player that you are and be like, hey, yo, Kyrie, keep the ball in your hands, just score, do your thing. Andrew Wiggins, you're going to play everybody on defense. So now in your year 15, in your year 16, in your year 17, you can have Andrew Wiggins, um, uh, Andrew Wiggins score more and play defense against the pr premier players. Kyrie Irving score more and find and facilitate the offense while you just be the best player that's on the floor and just cherry picking everything that Mike used to do, you know? But... Nonetheless, it is what it is. Man, this, this video was hilarious, man. Let me know what you think about it down below. Do you think that the Cavaliers are going to make the NBA Finals? Do you think they're going to beat the Celtics? Do you think LeBron is going to leave Cleveland? If you think he's going to leave Cleveland, tell me where you think he's going to go. Because if so, I got some predictions for you uh, that I can definitely make a video off of to see if we can spark some conversation about what I think is going to happen. But anyway, it's your man, Melvin Taylor Jr. Thank you all so much for tuning into the video. Please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And... Stay blessed, stay favored, always stay tailored. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace and love.